Hi guys, my name's Eric. Today I'll be showing you how I changed my sunglasses from looking like these to looking like this. So what you're gonna need is something like this. They're like nail scissors. They also look like like these. Just something similar to that. If you can't get your hands on something like that, just use a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver. So there's really only two ways you can go about this. You can either do what I did to these blue ones, which is carve all the way through. Oh, focus. You can either do what I did to these blue ones, which is carve all the way through the black part until you hit the blue. Or you could do what I did to these, which is scratch a little, like maybe a millimeter into the plastic, and then use something like this, which is a, it's a paint pen to paint over the scratch you made. So you can definitely see the scratches better on this than you can on this one. But the benefit of this one is in the sunlight, they kind of glow. You can't really see it from this side, but they do. It glows. So step one is to mark out your scratches so that you don't just start scratching straight away and make a mistake. I just use a normal biro pen. I just press a little hard on the plastic so then it shows up, but it doesn't make too much of a mark that you can see it in normal use. So it's a good thing it's for just marking out where you want to scratch the glasses. Okay, so I've scratched in the logo for these relict glasses now. Now I'll be switching to these scissors so I can carve deeper into the plastic. Now it's time for the red paint pen. After you've let it dry, you can just wipe off the excess with some tissue paper. It probably needs an extra coat of paint. I do the list at least three times before it's done. So this one's ready now. And if the camera would focus, there we go. So it's the same story when you're doing scratches down on the frame and stuff. So one tip I do have is to never ever put a scratch on this area of the sunglasses here because if you put them on and then pull them off they're gonna scratch your ear and it's gonna hurt so don't put anything there. You also want to make sure that the logo or whatever you're scratching is the same on the other side. To do that, I just get something like a ruler or something, just measure how far it is away from something and then mark it. If you want some ideas on where to put your scratches like these, then check out my Instagram, which will be linked below in the description. Yep, that's all I have for you guys today. So if you enjoyed, please like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of thing. Tell me in the comments what you thought. Goodbye.